How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Football Manager experiment. Today we've got another Wolves player experiment and it's an interesting and exciting one today. It's Luka Jovic or Luka Jovic. I'm going to say Jovic for the purpose of this video. Um, he's been linked recently with a move from Real Madrid to Wolves. So we're going to jump into it. We're going to simulate a certain amount of seasons and see how he gets on at Molyneux. So as you can see on the screen, we're going to find him here, Luka Jovic. As you can see, is now a Wolves player. I've just done very similarly to the last video where we simulated Divock Origi at Wolves. I've put him in at a £15 million transfer after Real Madrid paid £54 million for him. Um, so, yeah, we've got him here at Wolves. Of course, all attributes rated out of 20. Can play predominantly as a striker. Can play sort of uncomfortably on the wings, but striker is his main position. Uh, and as you can see, with the with the attributes rated out at 20, his key ones there are finishing at 16, which is always nice for a striker. Off the ball at 18, which is good. And balance at 17. He's got some other really strong attributes in there as well. So we have got Jimenez and him both going to be fit and ready to play together. So that's going to be interesting to see how they both play together. And we're going to, yeah, simulate to the end of Season 1 and see how Jovic gets on at Molyneux. So season one is complete and Jovic is still at Wolves. Uh, valued at £55 million and it's been a sort of underwhelming season. He's only just played over half of the games for Wolves. Um, interesting. Right then, let's have a quick look, a little bit more of an in-depth look at this. So 22 games overall, 19 of those were starts, three off the bench and six goals overall, two assists and three man of the match awards. Just an average rating of 6.9. Uh, but yeah, that is not, uh, no cup games in there either for Jovic. Um, let's see his stats and form. In terms of minutes, he was getting a goal every 260 minutes, which of course could be uh, a lot better. That's off the top of my head. A goal every sort of three and a half games, roughly. Um, so yeah, no, nowhere near good enough, really. Um, it's probably a little bit over that, that anyway. Yeah, yeah, no, it's about, yeah, three and a half games, roughly. Um, Walls as a whole, well, let's have a quick look. Firstly, actually, so all of his games were played as a striker, despite him being fairly uncomfortable as a winger. Um, uh, so Walls as a whole finished 17th, then absolute stinker of a season. Really poor season for Wolves. Staying up on goal difference, that is mental. Um, so Wolves staying up on goal difference in the first season. Jimenez finishing top goal scorer with 13 goals. Uh, as you can see, Spalletti is in charge. No Nuno. So Nuno was sacked early December and uh, Spalletti came in shortly after. Les Reed was in caretaker charge for a little bit. Um, so, yeah, let's see. Tactic-wise... It's a 4 2 3 1. So it's going to be Jimenez or Jovic probably, you know, balancing between who plays up front. And obviously, Jimenez got the nod there. And then with the likes of uh, Fabio Silva, is he not in the mix anywhere around here? So Fabio Silva isn't even in the first team. I'd assume he might be in the 23s or out on loan, maybe somewhere. Um, very, very interesting. Yeah, he got to Charlton on loan. My word. League One loan. Um, so, yeah, quite interesting that. So, no other players came in. But at the same time, it was quite a disappointing first season for Jovic. And very disappointing season overall for Wolves. Let's skip forward another year to see if they can improve. And see if we can get Jovic banging in some goals. So, here we are in Season 2. And Luka Jovic is still at Wolves. His value is still fairly high. This season, again, pretty disappointing. Even playing a game in the Papa John's Trophy. Um... Yeah, he scored a five goals in the league, even a really small amount of starts again with one assist. Uh, his XG was 12. That's the expected goals, and he's only scoring five goals, which is ridiculous. Um, two man of the match awards, but yeah, like I said, he played a couple of games in the Papa John's Trophy as well, which does not bode well. Um, and a couple of games in the in the cup, but still playing quite regularly for Serbia as well. Uh, actually played two games for Wolves as an attacking midfielder, but predominantly as a striker. And for Serbia as well, playing up front too. Um, yeah, no clubs really interested in him or anything as of yet. In the Premier League, a goal every 278 minutes. Uh, the FA Cup, he didn't score. Papa John's Trophy, he did grab a goal uh, in that as well when he played. But yeah, still quite interesting that he's not getting uh, the game time really um, for Wolves overall, 16th place. They've got Steven Gerrard in charge now. Um, spent just under £40 million on player. Mario Goethe came in for just under £30 million. Curtis Jones came in on loan. 
Um, Wanderson came in from Krasnodar. Um, but yeah, in terms of managers, Spalletti was sacked. Uh, it lasted just over a year. Les Reed again getting a little caretaker charge. And then Steven Gerrard coming in. Um, not having a worst record, but could have been a lot better finishing uh, or starting his career on the 19th of the 1st. But yeah, Wolves again, really struggling. 39 points, again, staying up by just two points. What is going on here at the moment? Jimenez finishing top goal scorer again with 15 goals. Uh, in the FA Cup, they got to the quarters. Carabao Cup into the second round. But media prediction, seventh again. Despite having such a poor season, the media backed them to bounce back. And yet again, Wolves having a disastrous campaign. What a weird save. This is Burnley finishing fifth. Newcastle are up there as well. And uh, yeah, Wolves... Fighting for survival, but just amount, uh, just about had done it there. They really need to bounce back. Uh, in terms of system, Gerard again another four-two-three-one. We're seeing Jovic, Jovic play a few games, but for me, not enough. We want to see him scoring more goals. Let's go into season three. So season three is here, and Luka Jovic in twenty twenty-three is still at Wolves. Um, even worse in terms of appearances this season. Um, his goal record's okay for those appearances he's got, but. It's crazy how Wolves have, I'd assume, given this guy a new contract recently. Last season, they gave him a new contract at the start of last season. So his value is still high. His attributes are actually improving because he's still so young. But he's not getting a good amount of game time. This time, uh, 21 games, less than all of the other seasons so far. Still managing six goals and one assist. Um, again, three games as an attacking midfielder, 18 games as a striker, eight goals. Uh, in all competitions this season as a striker. Uh, no one really interested in him, uh, but we saw him scoring a couple of goals in the FA Cup, which was good. In the Premier League, he had a really decent goal-to-minute ratio, 140 minutes. That's a goal every sort of roughly two games, which is decent for a striker. Carabao Cup, he grabbed himself a goal as well. Wolves finishing sixth in the Premier League under Stevie G. They've had a good season, a really good season. Jimenez finishing top goal scorer again. They came runners up in the FA Cup, and they're back in Europe. Why? How have they done? I mean, that's much better. This is what we expect to see from Wolves a little bit more. Quarter final of the Carabao Cup. So on all fronts, really, they've improved. Again, a four-two-three-one sort of system for him. What's going on here with these signings? All right, Pierre Emerick Aubameyang came in on loan. They spent fifty-seven million pounds. Um, so they brought Eric Bailly in on loan last season, signed him up. Aubameyang in on loan, which is uh, which is mental. He's not quite the same player without that pace. Um, and then in terms of out, it's all forty three million pounds worth of players. So Patricio has gone, Cody has gone, uh, Pedence has gone. So they got rid of a lot of players, but Luka Jovic is still there. Um, so quite interesting, really, how things are going so far. But a much better season for Wolves. The best season so far. But Jovic not playing enough games. But when you've got the likes of Aubameyang and Jimenez ahead of you at the moment, no wonder. Out of interest, how many games is Jimenez playing? See, Jimenez is playing 30 games, you know. And you could argue his attributes may be a little bit better than Jovic's. But I would expect, surely, they could go with a two-up front system to suit the quality of forwards that they've got here. But obviously not. Uh, let's skip forward another year. Let's see if we can finally get him some consistent game time. Right then, Jovic, season four. Oh, my word. He started 10 games all season and came off the bench in 10 as well. Um, I'm still amazed, right, that his attributes are improving at the rate they are. And... He, his value is as high as it still is. Uh, as you can see here, straightaway dynamics are poor. He wants to leave to play in the Champions League. So he's obviously not too happy with the how things are going right now. But 17 games in the league altogether, just the four goals. So the lowest tally that we've seen so far and his lowest average rating as well. But surely um, his goal per game ratio, it's still not ridiculously bad. Every, a goal every 183 minutes. Uh, he got a goal in the Carabao Cup as well and come off the bench twice in the Europa League. Um, in terms of where he played, again, predominantly uh, as a striker this season. Uh, but yeah, no one really interested in him, but he does want to leave the club. Um, now in Zaggy in charge, so Gerrard's gone. It was a 13th place finish for Wolves in the league. Um, and they were knocked out in the second knockout around the Europa League by Roma. But yeah, dreadful end to the season for Wolves, as you can see there. Uh, but finishing uh, 
30, 43 points. Um, so bang on sort of mid-table form, really. Came runner-up in the Carabao Cup, so did okay in the domestic cups. Uh, but Thiago Almada, top goal scorer this season for Wolves. So Gerard, again, another manager that was sacked. Uh, it lasted t- just over two years at the club. Um, Les Reed getting another caretaker stint in charge of the club. And then Filippo Inzaghi coming in towards the end of April, where he had not won a game. He lost four and drew one. Wolves spending £97 million. They brought in £116 million pounds worth of plays. Neto went for a good amount. £51 million he left to go to uh, Juve. Johnny, Adama, they all left. Catrone left as well. So he must have stayed at the club uh, for a while after as well. Um, and then Wolves bringing, spending £97 million. Diallo uh, coming in. Uh, Carlos Alenia coming in. Uh, Guido Rodriguez. So, yeah, again, in terms of system... Another 4 2 3 1. We've still got Jimenez uh, as a striker as well at 33 now. He's still keeping Jovic out of the team. Uh, but yeah, another year. It's going to be interesting to see what happens because he's getting impatient now. Is he going to leave to get more football? Right, we're at the end of the 24 25 season. So I think this is five seasons now that we've seen. Uh, Jovic still at Wolves. And again, still not getting game time. He's still, as you can see, very poor. His morale is not good at the club at the moment. 27 years of age now. And he's just been a player that has just been there, hasn't he? Two goals this season. By far the worst uh, season in terms of goals. He's got one assist as well. Um, Yeah, just not a good season whatsoever for Luka Jovic. And you'd expect now maybe. He's signed another contract recently. I'm sure that was till 2027. So unless they've uh, sort of added an extension on it, I'm sure that wasn't that long, but who knows. Um, Yeah, mainly as a striker this season. Played a couple of games uh, for Serbia uh, as a striker, uh, as an attacking midfielder. But yeah, lots of games and goals for Serbia, but not enough games and goals for him at Wolves. We see now uh, Inzaghi still in charge. They've had a good season, uh, Wolves. Finishing seventh in the Premier League. Unfortunately, missing out on Europe way behind. A really high points totals for the top six there. Um, but yeah, knocks down the third round of the FA Cup and the quarterfinal of the Carabao Cup as well. So yeah, not uh, a bad season for Wolves, but again, could have been a little bit better on that front there. David De Gea coming in on a free. They've signed some good players there, Wolves. Uh, David De Gea coming in on a free. Trinsau. Uh, so, yeah, lots of plays coming in there. Um, any big outs again? Then Donker had gone. And in terms of system, it's still a 4-2-3-1. We're seeing Leonardo Campana getting a bit of game time as well. You'd love to see it. Um, so, yeah, not... Uh, Inzaghi's still in charge of Wolves after a disastrous end to his first season. He's bounced back a little bit. Obviously, had a good year this time round. Uh, but still, no football for Jovic. You know what? I'm going to holiday it one more year. I'm hoping that we can see Luka Jovic score... And play some more games and more football. What concerns me here is the fact that he's played 18 non-competitive games. Which means he's probably playing quite regularly for the 23s as well. Scoring 9 goals there. So yeah, let's um, let's go on to a final season. And one more look at uh, Luka Jovic. So here we are at the end of the 2025-2026 season. And Luka Jovic at Wolves. Um, wow, he's, he's actually had a full season. Finally, a full season at Wolves. He scored nine goals. He's played 35 games overall in the league. Nine goals, one assist, um, which is much, much better. That's what we wanted to see since the start, really. So his best goal-scoring season comes years after he first joined the club. Uh, He's got one assist as well. His best average rating or second best average rating since joining as well. So, yeah, that's what we like to see. Um, In terms of game time, yeah, every game is a striker. Nine goals this season in all competitions. A goal every 264 minutes. Yeah, that's much better. Much better uh, as well, yeah. So maybe Wolves have changed formation. Who knows? Uh, They've got Gerardo uh, Sione. Uh, I think that is in charge now. Um, Finishing 13th in the league. And Luka Jovic finishing as top goal scorer. So it took a long, long while, but we got there in the end. Uh, Wolves finishing 13th in the league, 43 points. Not a great season, but again, not as bad as some of the ones that we've seen so far. In terms of tactics, they are still playing a 4-2-3-1, to be fair. I'd assume maybe Jimenez is gone, uh, because we've seen, obviously, Fabio Silva's in there now as well. Uh, maybe Jimenez has retired or left. No, he's got to CSK in Moscow. So, yeah, they've brought uh, now Jovic in as the main man. And you know what? I think he's done okay. He's got nine goals there in his final season of the experiment. Not too bad. 
But guys, if he does join, I'm sure we're going to be hoping that he does a lot better than what Football Manager predicts. It was just a strange one from this, the minute go, really. Wolves scraping and staying up for two seasons, then bouncing back and getting into Europe, um, but not seeing Jovic barely in a wall shirt. So pretty disappointing, really. But guys, be sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let me know in the comment section down below if there's any Wolves players that have been reported that you'd love to see on the channel. And uh, let me know if Wolves signed Jovic, what you think of the signing. But until next time, guys, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you all very, very soon.